This is Charlie giving you Monday's market commentary. I hope you're all very well. Um, uh, just for those of you who are watching Friday's commentary, ended up Friday with a whopping £70 banked. But that's just the way it goes sometimes, isn't it? And you have to, as a trader, take what the market is willing to give you sometimes. So um, £70 is about a third of the daily target for that, that account. So um, not too bad. But um, obviously, I always usually want to find some nicer trades for you on a Friday but anyway nevertheless that's where we got to on Friday um, we're gonna go through the analysis of the the key markets this week including gold um, before I do that just a reminder for those of you that don't follow us on Facebook or Twitter then we are on there um, we're still growing are still very small at the moment with Kim and I are always behind the curve when it comes to things like Facebook and things like that but um, but we're on there and you get all sorts of quotes and the stuff that we put up we usually put up um, we give our notifications as to when the videos are going up we put a quote of the day on a Friday um, I had a lovely comment here from someone last week saying how much we've helped them take their trading um, and and we do put up trades as well like sometimes I'll put up something if I feel I'm in a trade that um, people want to follow then they can follow that actually that one I got stopped out on on gold um, so there's all sorts of information that do, does go up onto there and we Oh yeah, I even put up um, pictures and stuff just about what we're up to and things like that as well. So um, if you're not on there, just go to facebook.com forward slash easy trader. And it just, it's another way for you to um, stay in touch with us or for us to stay in touch with you as well. And you do get that extra that extra information that we don't necessarily post out um, um, or put onto an email. Anyway, let's have a look at these markets. So, looking at um, the daily charts here, first of all, with gold and ha oh, sorry, <laughs> the pound, and um, where am I um, looking to trade these markets over this next week or so? Well, the pound, yeah, we had that divergence up at these highs, and we've backed off quite nicely. I still think that we've got in the in the bigger time frame, this this the pound's still going to come back up, and it's going to want to break these highs. So that's what I'm looking for um, at the moment. Um, for a break of these highs up and get up into the what mid 160s so um, that's where overall longer term I'm looking for the pound um, where I'm looking for it to go so wouldn't mind seeing it coming down a little bit more have that flush to take out these lows uh, and get even more people bearish uh, and then maybe we can then start looking at it for um, to see if it starts coming up um, and then and then it's and then it's literally a case of when but I don't know if think think this is going to happen any time imminently but I'd like to think maybe by the end of the year we'll start seeing that move coming in again it may even take into January so this is something which is not necessarily going to happen straight away but I, I, my bigger time frame analysis is there and nothing changes there until unless we obviously to come right way down and we break 151 <laughs> so uh, then I'll admit I'm, I'm definitely wrong on that one and probably a little probably down once we break the 200 day moving average as well but for now um, I'm assuming that um, this is just a flush flush on my um, analysis um, from my analysis and that actually we're going to be coming back up again so there's going to be some great trading coming up here with, with the pound as and when it does start coming back up again so we'll keep around that but for now this week we've got um, non-farm payrolls out on Friday so that's going to be the big one um, uh, news wise and 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 movement wise and uh, so um, but at the moment I'd like to see the pound come a bit lower so we may see a, another flush down a little bit more and that would likely then for be the same with the euro dollar it's had a really good move down obviously um, we've pretty much come down to this lower trend channel line not quite but we've pretty much got down to there so it's a, a little bounce yep absolutely and then I'm looking for another another flush um, and then it'll be a similar scenario with the euro dollar over the coming months. I'm going to be looking for that euro dollar to come back up again. But um, for now, we're in, in flush down mode and lots of traders get lots of traders um, all um, getting really bearish. And then we can then start coming up again. So we'll, we'll keep our eye on that one. Um, but um, as far as the day, the day to days this week, I'm just taking each day as they come. Um, as far as these couple of markets are concerned, I would be looking to get on the short side, but then that's what everyone's looking for, so you have to be aware of that. Um, so um, we'll keep our eye on those. But I haven't seen any real reasons to want to be getting in on the long side yet. That's that's for sure. Um, not from a swing basis anyway. So where am I finding um, those those opportunities or seeing those opportunities? I think the dollar yen. I think we've still gonna, we've still got more more upside to come. I think we probably are going to break this ninety nine uh, dollar area. Just a case of um, 
wait, playing a waiting game. It's just essentially going sideways. I'm looking at my hourly charts off screen at the moment. It's essentially going sideways. So dollar yen more upside I'd like to see and therefore I'll be looking on the long side, which means the other two currencies, pound and euro overall at some point I'd like to see them roll back over again, but they could they could want to have a bit of a, um, a rally or bounce for a bit first. Um, and really then that leaves me with uh, gold, which I'm still interested in at the moment. If, if gold were to start coming back up, I will be looking to get on the long side based on the hourly charts and four hourly charts. So I, and then to hold for a, a decent swing up towards probably 1400 or more. So um, I'm still looking at gold. I was bullish on it a week or so ago. It, I gave it a try and it just then rolled over um, and it's come down to its daily 21 moving average. And so I'm just seeing if it's going to hold there. And if it starts to eke its way back, creep its way back up, then um, then I, I that then I think that this has just been a flush and that that's going to then start to break. So definitely one to watch gold. Obviously, if it starts to, if it breaks 1300, then it prob probably is. That pattern is probably all over. Um, but for now, just hold, just keep staying curious. We start breaking above 1330 and I'm going to be looking on the intraday charts for getting uh, longs, but for then to hold on to those longs for swings. Hopefully that's of use and uh, we'll be back in touch midweek for Gim and I'll be back in touch on Friday.